This is McTile. A few months ago, I only had one tile to stand on, and every 1000 XP I gain, I get to unlock a new one. I can't use banks or trade other players, and I'm unlocking RuneScape one tile at a time. The goal? RuneScape's biggest challenge, the Inferno. In the last episode, we had one main goal, and that was to complete a hard clue scroll. After a couple of attempts and a quest, we not only completed one, but we rolled a very lucky 18% chance to get the magic short bow. We have about 150 hours of grinding to do before we can take on Zolra in the next couple weeks. I'm in such an amazing spot now. The magic short bow being done means the rest of the hard clues from this grind are really stress-free. We still have 1,700 chinchampas, which we'll get a couple hard clue attempts, we'll get some range XP still, so I'm actually super excited to finish off this grind. Wait, is this the funny number? No way. There it is, guys. Cooking some food for these trips makes them last a lot longer, so it's definitely worth it. Straight back to business, 220k away from a range level, so I should I think I should be able to get that with the rest of these chinchampas, and maybe we can complete another hard clue. That would really make me happy if we could complete another one. I think with all the steps I've unlocked so far, I probably increased my chance of completing a hard clue by like 3%, which isn't that much because I'm sure my completion rate is still in the single digits, maybe like eight or nine percent chance to complete but maybe we can do it maybe we can complete another it would be great hey a commercial break if you've been on the channel a while you know that i've taken audible as a sponsor about 537 times at this point and there's a good reason for that i use my audible credits every single month it is a religious thing for me at this point i love audiobooks i'm a huge fan of them normally i'll be listening to something educational while playing runescape runescape is like the perfect game for this because it's a side monitor game you can always have something on a second monitor while you're playing, and Audible is the perfect thing to just listen to while grinding. Now that the Rings of Power series is on Prime Video, it's the perfect time to catch up on all the Lord of the Rings content before you binge watch, and there's a ton on Audible. I for one just picked up the Fellowship of the Ring and I've been listening to it while grinding RuneScape, I'm someone who saw all the movies but never read the books and now I can listen to the books while playing RuneScape. So, and uh, after I finish all of them, I plan to binge watch the new Rings of Power series and you can do the exact same. Audible is your go-to for Lord of the Rings content, no question about that. You can visit audible.com slash LOTR or text LOTR to 500-500 to start your free 30-day trial. Go catch up on your Lord of the Rings content and then you can go binge watch the new The Rings of Power series on Prime Video. Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring sponsoring. Yo, Grubby Key, I've actually almost opened 40 of these at this point, and I'm at four and a half brews, I think like six restores. It's, it could be better, but I guess it also could be worse. I'm just trying to stock up as many supplies as I can for the Inferno so that I don't have to make my own potions. Did someone say hard clue? My first hard clue since completing the last one, and this is Yanil Anvils. That actually is doable. I just need some more tiles, I think. I don't know if 121 is enough. I think right now my main thing that that I really want from hard clues is god dehyde boots because I don't really have any good boots that I could use for the inferno or Zora later on. Well, I figured my best way of getting here is through the fairy ring that's kind of close. I just don't have the tiles it looks like. I'm going to be probably about 30 short of getting to where I need to dig, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go back and chin for a bit longer. But this is definitely a clue step I want to unlock. This is one of the easier steps. Grubby key number 39 or 40. I'm actually not sure. Grimy toad flax. Okay, ranging potion. Pretty good. I can just get one more XP drop. There we go. 39 tiles. That should be uh, plenty. I actually think that's a little more than I need. Let's go get this clue step done. Seven tiles left to spare. We complete the step. Okay. And I have to drop the clue. That's so annoying, man. This this is such a bad one. This this step is literally just miserable. I would need thousands of tiles if I want to do that one, and uh, I am just not in the position to be holding a clue scroll for that long, so unfortunately we drop this one on step two. Hey, grubby key number 40 coming in. All right, will key number 40 be lucky? Can we? Yes, we can get some brews and a two-dose restore. That is literally the, the perfect chest right there. There's really nothing better. There's nothing better than that. I guess uh, unless I got the straight up like two full restore drop, but we're stacking supplies. I'm happy. Locking that adamant longsword actually just put me back Back up to a one mil cash stack. I knew I'd hit it again. I spent like all my money on runes last episode and I knew I'd hit one mil again. So I'm glad to see it was true. Now I can spend that money on other things and I still have all the runes. So pretty good key actually. 10 Renars, another range pot. We take it. Yes, another hard clue. Beautiful. What is this? Wise old man and drainer. We can do it. That's uh, gonna take me a couple tiles, but it's not gonna be a lot. So I'm at, that's actually a great step to get. I'm gonna finish off this trip and then we go do it. But first a key opening for... 
for egg potatoes. Honestly, the dragon bones are nice. I, I will always accept dragon bones. It's a great drop. Oh no, what a tragedy. I have to invest like four tiles to do this step. Super easy step. We love it. And our next step is the rogue's den. We've already been there. Yet another step. I might have to unlock like two extra tiles for this one as well. And that's another step that I can complete. And our third step is uh, west of Shiloh Village. Perfect. This is the place with uh, the bridge of hell. So I can absolutely do this. We're getting very lucky on this clue so far. And we didn't fall. Look at that. Third step in a row where I just have to add like a couple more tiles to what I already have unlocked. So it's working. We're unlocking more clue steps as we go. Oh, I got some death runes. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna be step number four. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. No, no, there's no way I'm doing that. That's so unfortunate because this is step four, which could be the last step, but that's, I mean, I don't have the tiles for that for one. Two is just really dangerous. Well, we unlocked some steps at least, so we got a completion rate up for the future, but no time to focus on what could have been. It's time to grind. We need to go. We are on the final stretch. We're in the double digit range for Chinchalpa's left. I've been here for several days at this point. I actually can't wait to show you guys the total loot. I've been tracking it, so uh, I'll be able to show you as soon as I finish off this final trip. We're also just barely gonna edge out a range level before we finish this, which is awesome. And there's the final Chinchampa. We are all done. Let me just grab everything that's missing on the floor. Floor. We have one final grubby key to open and this grind is officially done. I think this is my 45th grubby key. If I could get one final set of brews or restores, I would be so happy here or prayer pots. Pretty much anything that I actually need would be so great to finish this grind off with. Okay, nothing great from the final key. Just got a parting gift of 58 thieving for pick locking the door. So that's pretty cool. In the end of the grind, we killed 4,726 temple spiders and received just around 6.7 mil in loot, 45 grubby keys. Honestly, what really surprised me was just the raw cash. Look at those coin drops. That's just straight coin drops. It's not alking or anything. So that actually surprised me quite a bit. Ended up getting six full brews, which is the most important thing that I wanted because those are by far the hardest to get. I honestly thought I had more restores than this. I actually could have sworn I had like six or more, but I... Mm, I don't know. We won't talk about that. I'm sitting at sand crabs a bit. I'm trying to stock up at least a few more tiles because I'm about to do some Slayer and that's just going to be draining pretty much everything I have. We got a lot of tiles during that temple spider grind, but they were pretty much all reinvested back into hard clue scroll steps. So with the temple spider grind done, I'm pretty much just fully focused on getting everything ready to take on Zolra in a few weeks. This next goal doesn't directly relate to Zolra, but it's something that I'm going to have to do in the future. And I figure right now is a great time to do it. I want to hit 55 Slayer. It's probably going to take me the full week, but I really want to hit this because it's pretty much like the milestone level for early Slayer. It has by far the most unlocks out of any other Slayer level just off equipment alone. It gives me access to all the leaf bladed weaponry, the Slayer staff, the enchanted Slayer staff, broad arrows, broad bolts. 55 Slayer does not mess around when it comes to unlocks. I get a lot from getting that level. And high Slayer is just gonna be necessary for the end game of the account, so making any progress toward that is very efficient. I'm hoping that throughout my 55 Slayer journey, I can collect 300 Slayer reward points and use them to unlock broader fletching, giving me access to broad arrows and broad bolts, which are the most cost-effective yet strong ammo I can get. 55 Slayer is probably gonna take me the better part of a week, and it's gonna be extremely expensive tile-wise, but we'll probably unlock some cool things on the way, so let's get started. Back in the saddle, baby, 162 cave crawlers. I'm in such a good mood right now, and all I want to do is slayer on runescape.com. I actually really enjoy this task just because I can train Herblord during the task. I do hope I get some new tasks because, honestly, my slayer journey so far has been a lot of the same, but humble little 17 Herblore. Fine, fine, I'll do cave crawlers until 99 Herblore. Stop begging. First level of the 55 slayer grind, 35. Wow, I am actually really low on bone bolts. I can't even finish this task. 14,200 bone bolts reloaded into the ammo slot, and we still have over a mil in cash, so I can feel rich. And task completed. That is such an underappreciated task. 18 Herblore, so I got two Herblore levels just from completing a Slayer task there. That was beautiful. Hail, my dear. 150. 
56 black demons that's gonna take me the whole day that's literally like a full day long task yeah that is a very very long task but it should get me to like 42 or 43 slayer like that is such a fat task so here's my thought process on this because right now i actually cannot do this task because i don't have the tiles to get over to black demons this is where the black demons are and right now to get there what i have to do is i have to walk all the way through here all the way through here all the way through here and then i have to go all the way to this jail cell to get a key and then go all the way back through here down here and into the black demons it's like a thousand tiles right but as you can see there's a pipe squeeze that requires level 70 agility and if i just get the agility level i'm gonna save like 900 tiles and I need 76 agility anyway, because 76 agility gets me a massive shortcut for Zolra in the future. So I'm gonna have to get that level anyway. So I think right now I take a detour, I get 70 agility to save myself 900 entire tiles. Because if I don't get this agility level, I'm gonna have to unlock like 90% of that dungeon that I'm just never gonna use again. So I'll see you in 17 hours. Let's actually see how many tiles this course takes to complete. That actually wasn't that bad. 70 tiles to unlock the full Sears Village course, and I can just do this all the way up until 80 agility, so I actually can't stop falling. Am I gonna die? Do I need food? I am on the verge of dying to an agility course. I literally have to put on rapid heal. I won't survive. Little over 100 laps deep, 62 agility. There is 63 agility. My agility is getting higher and my fail rate is just staying exactly the same. I'm about to hit 65 agility and uh, I am on 17 hit points. And that's after I've used all my prayer to uh, just heal faster. I, I literally don't know how I'm failing this course this much. And there's 66 agility, 67 agility. Well, if it isn't 68 agility, guys, great news, 19 herblore on the rooftop. You guys have probably seen me ignore Marks of Grace. I am sorry if that's triggering you right now. There's still so much agility left to do on this account that I will get more Marks of Grace than I will literally ever use on this account. So I figured I might might as well just speed up my training here by not picking them up. You can just sit there and watch me not pick them up. What are you gonna do? Cry about it? Maybe like the video? Subscribe maybe? All right, laugh it up. It's the... Oh, that was actually not the level. All right, laugh it up. It's the funny number. Oh, I was in the zone, man. I was, I was in the zone, 70 agility. Well, after 17 hours on rooftops, there we go. We can now use the shortcut to get into the Taverly Dungeon, which is exactly what I wanted. We also collected a solid amount of tiles. I'm up to 659 tiles after that, which is wonderful. That should keep me stocked up enough to just complete the rest of my Slayer grind, which is awesome. I know I'm gonna be safe spotting the Black Demons, but I might as well get some food just in case I, uh... everything we trained for right here. That's the 70 agility coming in. Look at that. We just crawled through that pipe like it was nothing because we're so agile. And now we just save spot from right here. And this task is going to take very long because the bone crossbow, uh, as you can clearly see, is very inaccurate. I'd love to use my magic shortbow, but I just don't have any good arrows for it yet. That's probably what I'm going to do after 55 Slayer, but for now we'll just rough it out and at least we'll get a lot of XP from this task. On the bright side, I do get 65 prayer XP per kill here, so I actually should get a ton of prayer levels from this too. 36. What the sh- what is that drop? If I was an Iron Man that planned to get crafting up, that would have been like the miracle drop. 37 Slayer. 38! Ooh, hello hard clue. What you got? Oh yes, the lava maze. <laughs> That's really cool. The big 40 Slayer, very nice. The first prayer level from the task, 47. Literally every prayer level is just nice. It's just a nice little bonus. Great news, guys. 42 Slayer, we can now kill fever spiders. I'm gonna look up what those are in a second. I'm just kidding. I know what they are, but I've never killed one. And the task is done. What an extremely long task. 42 Slayer from that. 140 Calphites is my task. 43 Slayer. And task completed. What? What a task, we just got 135 hellhounds. This task is infamous for one main thing, and that's having one of the best hard clue scroll drop rates in the entire game, one in 64. Anything that drops hard clue scrolls commonly is gonna be a fun task, honestly. Once again, a pretty slow task because they have a lot of defense, a lot of HP. We can make ourselves a neat little safe spot right in this cubby, nice. 44 Slayer, a hard clue scroll, and it's a step I can do. Let's go over to Varrock. And I can't do the next step. This step requires 80 Slayer. 
Slayer, so uh, I'm a little bit off that currently. Another hard clue, okay. And step two. Okay, we can unlock this one. I actually have the Mounted Glory, so I can just teleport to Kromda. This one's pretty easy. Step number three is Edgeville, also doable, very, very easy. And step number four is not one I can complete. That's really unfortunate. Oh, why? I'm not just, I would need to train smithing for that too. Not only is it just a ton of tiles to get into that quest line, but it's, uh, I would have to train smithing for the steel weapons for that quest. Looks like we are dropping a hard clue on step four once again, lovely. 45 Slayer, and another step for me to unlock. This is in the fourth house dungeon that I just spent like a week of my my life in so let's go over there all right got the clue let's get out of here another wilderness step that i really don't want to do awesome that's another task done we got 46 slayer and almost another range level back to the cave crawlers and that's another cave crawler task done you guys already know i love this task plenty of herb lore xp gained on this one just a humble little herb lore level level 20 ah uh, yes another four hour black demon task let's go do it there's 47 slayer whoa and another four hour black demon task has been done. I got uh, 49 Slayer to finish that off, uh, some progress towards 50, and we actually got a lot of herbs. My inventory is looking fantastic. My new task is Cockatrice, which I'm actually happy that I got something new, and these guys drop medium clues fairly often, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully we can get one of those. Okay, ask and you'll receive first medium clue. I, I'm actually really excited to do these because there is a chance that we get a good pair of boots, which I'm honestly mainly looking from both hard clues and medium clues. I'm looking for a good pair of boots. We're on step three, and it looks extremely doable. I think what I'm going to do is move my house to Relica, and that will get me a really quick and easy path over to where I need to dig here, and maybe this is the end of the clue. Oh, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. First medium clue on the account. All right, let's see what we get. Um... This would have been amazing toward, I don't know, this would have been amazing like a month ago when I needed an amulet. This would have been so good, but... Uh, unfortunate that it's a bit later. I'm just gonna have to alk all this stuff. Still cool to complete a clue, though. Always happy. Just got another medium clue on my first kill back, so... Got a little bit of a tile investment for this one, but at least I'm gonna have to unlock this for the big chompy bird hunting quest anyway, so... It's actually another place I have to go for Dragon Slayer, so that was a dual-purpose unlock. And we've got our second clue scroll casket. Set a second medium, sorry. Second medium clue scroll casket. All right, let's see what we get from our second clue... Green dehyde body, purple sweets are kind of cool. Nothing else that I really need from this, but it's cool to complete yet another clue. I will take the purple sweets. Maybe I start stacking those. Feels like forever that I've been trying to get this range level. There we go, 87 range. A lot of progress made on that over the last couple days of Slayer. And that is task complete. Let's go get another one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another five hour black demon task. We're getting close. We're getting pretty close. 50 Slayer, very nice level. Five to go until we have all those unlocks. We also unlock blood velds with that level, which is really nice. That's a pretty good task. It's a lot of XP and it's a lot of blood runes, so. 49 prayer. This actually unlocks a pretty decent prayer. I have definitely used redemption quite a bit over my runescape career, so. 51. Humble little herb lore level. These tasks genuinely feel like they take me days. Like, I know I just did this in one day and, you know, I'm almost 52 Slayer now, so I got a lot done here but I swear my entire day is gone. Infernal Mage's task. Hmm, I don't like this task very much, but I will go over there and unlock it. I'm gonna have to go through the Slayer Tower here. This is actually gonna be a little interesting. I just need to hope that none of them hit me here. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Please, okay, we dodged a bullet, perfect. <laughs> I was really hoping not to get hit by one of those guys because they would have drained my stats to like half of what they are. Because otherwise, I'd be temporarily doing this task with 35 range and it would have taken like 30 minutes for my stats to get back to normal. I'm gonna have to prayer flick most of this task. These guys are unfortunately extremely accurate. Even though I have super high magic defense gear, it just doesn't matter. They're gonna hit me no matter what. So the dream item from this task is the lava battle staff. That would be so good to get. I think it's one in a thousand though. So probably not gonna get it. But if I did, that's infinite fire and earth runes. And one staff so I would just be able to completely free up an inventory slot that would be so good 52 slayer and there's the infernal mage task completed that's our big task bonus so we got 50 points we're up to 190 slayer points after that unfortunately no lava battle staff for us but I will survive somehow the game plan I'm gonna go speed run some easy tasks because right now I'm not gonna hit 300 slayer points at the same time that I hit 55 slayer which is not ideal so I'm gonna go speed run some tasks get more points and then hopefully 
hopefully we can hit both of those objectives at the same time. There it is. That's exactly what I was looking for. Iron Kite Shield. I needed one for this clue scroll because I really want to complete it. I just need to buy studded chaps now. Spent like 20 minutes there trying to get an Iron Kite Shield and a Steel Longsword, but it was worth it. Now we buy some studded chaps from here. Always worth it to just get the items because then I'll have them forever and it's just a permanent clue step unlock and that is another casket. So now I have these items in here for the next time I get this clue step. Right, let's see what we get from this. This is like our third easy clue now and nothing that I really care about. Ah, harpy bug swarms. Okay, something a little new. We have to buy a little bug lantern for this one, which this used to be like one of my favorite things to wear back in the day. When I was a kid, I loved the harpy bug lantern. Just feel like a cooler person when you wear this thing. Harpy bug swarm task completed. That Calphite task just put us up to 250 points. So all I have to do are nine easy tasks and then our 40th task will give us 300 points. So I am in such utter disbelief that it has taken me this long to use the fairy ring in Mauritania. I spent 5,000 hours in this region without fairy rings and I literally convinced myself that they don't exist here. I just, I like completely erased that from my brain. I've just been running to Mauritania every time I need to do something here. It's actually baffling that I just somehow psyoped myself into thinking that fairy rings don't exist in this region. Holy shit, what a discovery for me. I had to spend about 100 tiles to get over to the Banshee task, but this will be a quick one. 54 Slayer, my friends. One more level to go. What will be our final task to finish off 55 Slayer? 120 Blood Velds is our 40th task. We might actually, so this task will get me to 300 Slayer points, but will it also get me 55 Slayer? That is the question. I think it will. That would be perfect. It would literally be perfect to get both on the same task here. Nice little safe spot for Blood Velds. We like it. This literally could not have lined up more perfectly. 55 Slayer. And I have one more Blood Veld left on my task. And that will get me 300 Slayer points. Look at these unlocks, baby. Broad ammunition, leaf bladed weapons, Slayer staff. We can now kill Turoths. So many unlocks in one level. It's beautiful. And there we go. 40 tasks completed and 300 Slayer points, exactly what we need for the broader fletching unlock. The greatest balance of cost efficiency and strength in a single piece of ammunition, and we can now make it. Seven billion unlocks with that one Slayer level. It's been a nice week. We got so much progress done. I'm kind of close to 88 range as well. I am extremely excited for what we're doing next episode because I think it's going to be a little bizarre, and uh, I think you'll really, really like it. So I'll see you soon.